Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, The Media Nerd. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually clean an eight millimeter digital Handycam. And this particular unit is DCR TRV 140 and it's a digital eight. Now I just got done showing how to clean a regular high eight camera, but the difference is this is a bottom loading camera and this is a top loading camera. And I find these a lot easier to use, especially when I'm doing transfers so I don't have to continually flip the camera over to get the tape in and out. So this is a camera of choice. But the real camera of choice that I like, which I'll put in the description, in the video description for Amazon, is this particular unit. And this is a Sony. And the model number of this one is DCR TRV320. Like I said, I'm going to put a link to Amazon for this camera. And the reason why I like this camera better is because it plays high 8 regular 8 and digital 8. It'll automatically convert over just in case you don't know what tape you have. This is really the best one to get. So why would you want to clean your, your camera? Well, here's the deal. You put your tape in and you're playing and it's a nice picture. And then it starts to like get a little staticky on the screen and then there's more static and then the audio is cutting out and then all of a sudden, bam, it goes to a blue screen. Now, why is that happening? It's because these guys are like 20, 25 years old uh, and they're starting to deteriorate. Really, the tape is starting to flake off and clog the heads of the camera just because they're just getting so old and it's like little microscopic particles that are breaking off it's not big chunks but it's little and in the past what i've always loved to use is just this eight millimeter cleaning hat these are great you pop it in hit play for 20 seconds then take it out put your tape back in and you get a clean picture again but here's the problem i can't find these on amazon any longer uh, I did find them on eBay and for a used one, and you don't want to buy a used one because they're used, they're like 45, 50 bucks. And if you can possibly find a new one, man, these are going for like a hundred dollars. It's just not cost effective. It's not cost effective for me and most likely not for you. So we're going to manually clean it. And what I found were these chamois swabs on Amazon and I have the link in the description that you can go right to Amazon get it uh, using that and this audio 456 this is a nice head cleaner can't find it on Amazon but you can find it on Etsy.com and if you don't want to do that just get yourself some rubbing alcohol you know this is 70 percent and I found it in my medicine cabinet and it works really great as well so let's go ahead and start cleaning this Walkman manually. In order to clean the heads and really get down in there, you're going to have to take off this faceplate. So first, I'm going to eject. Get it opened up. And then, most importantly, unplug it and make sure that there's not a battery in there as well. So we have two screws, one right here and one right there. That's it to be able to get at this and see what's going on inside. There's the second one. Don't have to worry about the strap. It's not interfering with anything. And this should just pull right off. There we go, sort of slide up a little bit. So let's put that off to the side. And now let's see if we can see that drum head in there. See that circular drum head? I'm gonna get my finger right there and spin it so you can see it. Maybe we go on this side 
it's right here. It's the circular guy right there. That's where the tape feeds through and that's where the little sensors are to clean. So let's get one of our little cotton swabs out as it's two-sided. It's gonna dip it right in there, get it wet. Now I'm gonna do the best I possibly can to get in there. There's multiple little holes or sensors in this drum head that we're gonna wanna clean. And hopefully I can be able to show it to you easily. So I'm just going to spin. There's a little hole right there. Maybe you can see that. That's a sensor right there on that drum. And I'm just going to spin this drum head. It's really easy to spin and wipe my cotton swab over these sensors. It's hard to really see how many there are. So I'm just gonna keep spinning and going over each sensor. Flip it over, swab. Just keep spinning and cleaning, trying to get even the, the entire drum clean, not just the sensors. Hopefully, there. Just spinning and cleaning, spinning and cleaning. Now you see that there's some other little mechs in there as well that the tape's gonna go through. See the little metal right here? You can try to give that a little wipe off if you want, that collects residue. And here's pinch roller, this rubber gasket called a pinch roller. There's uh, cap heads. There's different names for these, but in all intents and purposes, why do you really know the technical names for them? Just give them a good little cleaning. You can maybe see that there is some black dirt that came off residue. So that's really it. I mean, that's the best you can do if you don't have a tape cleaner. That's great. So we're just going to repeat the process to put the the cap back on, it's gonna sort of slide into place. There's these little metal things right here that it's gonna slide into. And then you can see the, the holes will line up. Good, I didn't lose my screws. Okay, that's locked in. Get this other one in there. The screws are so small. It's like you have to really have nimbly fingers. Plus you need just one of these little Phillips head screwdrivers. You know, this, this is the key because you won't be able to get them out without something that small. Okay, that is done. Let's plug it back in. And then you just wanna close it, push that in. It says, do not push this metal. And there you go. So that wasn't too bad. It only took two little screws to take this face plate off to get in there. And it was really easy for me to at least get in there and clean it. And it's gonna be just as easy for you to get in there to clean it as well. Um, and you'll really be able to see what I'm talking about with those little sensor holes to be able to clean. Uh, like I said, these little uh, swabs, they can be found on Amazon. I do have a link in the description of this video for Amazon as well as the cameras. And I really do like this particular model because it plays the digital and regular eight. And 
Last but not least, the THC2 Audio 456 can't be found on Amazon. Well, maybe it can by now, but last time I looked it couldn't, but it can be purchased on Etsy.com. So I really like using this, but don't forget you can also use a little bit of rubbing alcohol as well. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in the comments section and I do respond pretty fast. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. Thank you so much for watching and you have yourself a wonderful day.